Hi guys, this is Aruva Chan and today I am doing a speed paint on a picture that I did for a live stream last year and if you guys were here you probably recognize this picture. This is actually sort of like um, my feelings towards summer and sort of myself like I, I very much enjoy summer and I am very curious but I'm also very like held back so I like to see my curious side going which is uh, the two girls here like friends uh, meeting each other for the first time or friends hanging out for the 50th time but um, I have I have such a love for summer and I really 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 wanted to put that into this piece so I you know here we go and I'm gonna give you a few tips based on my last video a lot of you guys didn't really know what to do if you are feeling down or feeling blue about your art so I'm gonna give you a few tips here uh, and what I do to kind of lessen my hatred for my art because I don't hate my art um, not anymore at least I I try very very hard to enjoy my art and enjoy the process so I'm gonna give you some tips to liking your own art so for the first part, um, I told you guys not to say, you know, my art is bad, this isn't good, you know, this isn't good, but um, what you want to try and do instead of saying this isn't good or when you're trying to post it or get somebody's critique, you, you should say, I had a very hard time on this and I would love feedback or um, if you're sending it to a friend or showing it to your parents, say, you know, I need to know what I can fix on this. This is something that I used to do with my parents a lot until I got annoyed with it. But I would say, what can I fix? What do you think I can fix on this? Because I don't like it or because uh, something is off on it. So I would have other people help me before it was finished. And then I would be able to kind of fix where, you know, where I was going and what I was doing with it. So um, asking for help and saying, you know, trying very hard not to put yourself down. Don't say, I hate this. What do I need to fix? Say um, something on this picture is off and I don't know what because I, you know, you probably don't have an eye for it just yet. But um, ask for help. Another thing is, um, if you're being critiqued in class or if you uh, receive a compliment, like a genuine, like, this is really good compliment, what you don't want to do is say, it's not that good. You want to accept the compliment. Accept your compliments. Because, for one, people aren't saying them just to get on your good side. They're saying them because they enjoy what you're making. So accept the compliment. Say, thank you. I work really hard for this. Or I, I spent a long time on this. So I really appreciate that. Like, it's not, it's not humble to deny a comment. It's humble to say, thank you. I spent a long time on this. Or I've worked really hard for this. So I really appreciate it. Get it out of your mind that you need to deny everything you do. Because when people see that you don't accept comments, they're not going to give you comments anymore. Or, you know, compliments. Or um, they won't talk to you at all because they're like, oh, that person's, you know, so mean or so rude about themselves. Like, I don't want to talk to them. Like, all they have to say is negative stuff. So if you, if you start to get that out of your mind, it'll be a lot easier for you. Uh, to start moving forward and when you do start moving forward sorry my voice is a little rough <clears throat> when you do start moving forward you're going to find that it's a lot easier every single time you say something nice about your own art like even if you don't like your art all that much practice you need to practice something about it like if you if you hate the way you draw eyes look at other artists and draw other artists eyes like, um, look at your own eyes, take a picture of yourself and, and record yourself drawing your eye or whatever. Do what you need to do to get better in the places where you genuinely don't enjoy your art and move towards bettering yourself if it really bothers you that much. For me, I just have high standards and I know a lot of other people do, but, um, another thing you can do is limit your social media. Like for me, I had to unfollow a lot of artists that were um, amazing. That, you know, it wasn't like their art was, you know, technically beautiful or um, anything new that I haven't seen before. It was just like girls 
um, and their bodies were perfect and uh, the art style was perfect and you know there wasn't anything really special about it it just the way that they drew them made me feel like I needed to draw mine that way so I ended up unfollowing them because it kind of just set a you know a standard for me to have where it shouldn't ha you shouldn't have standards in art you you should be able to freely go about doing what you're doing and not feel pressure to try and make your art look better or look like something else because it, you when you're in this art journey you're actually just in this to make more stuff like people want more stuff they don't care what the quality is like they obviously are going to want a better quality but you're only going to get better quality when you're doing stuff that you like like for this one i had a really fun time doing this picture so i feel really good about this and even though i wouldn't say it's completely done i still feel like this is quality work and i would be okay giving this to somebody as a present Versus some of the other stuff that I've made where I wasn't, you know, wasn't really happy with it. But that's just me not spending enough time thinking about what I want, thinking about how to frame stuff. I really spent time working on this because I do enjoy the concept and I do the, you know, I enjoy the idea and I enjoyed the characters and how cute they were. And that was one of the steps for me that I had to kind of get over. Maybe not get over as much as just push past. Push past the idea that people need to have perfect art or I need to have perfect art for other people to like my art. And that's obviously not true because I've got, you know, however many subscribers who enjoy my art and who enjoy the process and who enjoy my videos. But I know a lot of the time I have a hard time and I struggle making things because I don't think other people like them. And that's something that I really need to stop doing because it, it's damaging to my art. Like, I don't make stuff that's as good because I'm making it for other people and there I, I am self-sabotaging my own art because of an expectation that I think other people have. Where, as I'm sure there is no expectation for me. People don't expect anything out of me and I am just pressuring, pressuring myself to make better art that ends up not being better art. And... Uh, for me, I just want to make art that I enjoy and art that I have fun making, which is why I've done a lot of, you know, traditional stuff recently because I genuinely do enjoy the process a lot and I've learned a lot doing paintings. So um, if you are struggling with this same thing, I, I implore you to cut down on social media, stop, stop bad mouthing your own art for real you you will get nowhere in life if you only put yourself down because people will treat you and your art how you treat you and your art and this is such such a big thing if you hate your art and you say things like oh i don't like this oh i don't like that i could do this better i could do that better they will also start to think these things so instead of saying things like i could have done this better you know um start to do things that are positives about your art. I really like how I colored the eyes or I really love how I colored the hair. Um, I had a hard time with the arms, but the legs look amazing. Instead of focusing on the negative, you need to start focusing on the positive. And if you bring the positive through your art, you'll start to kind of train your brain to not be so pessimistic about your art and you're going to start to see a difference in how you look at your artwork and you're going to notice that other people are going to start reacting to your artwork differently and people want to be around positive people. This is a huge thing. If you are always negative and you're always putting yourself down and you're always, you know, moody or whatever about your art or even in life in general, people won't want to be around you. And this is something that I learned the hard way. So find your happiness in your art and other people will find it too. This is huge. This is a huge thing. You really do need to love your art for other people to love it. And even if you're not absolutely in love with everything you do, you need to make your art with love and make it the way you want. Because that's all that matters in the end. It's you. If you're not happy with your art, you need to change it. If you're not happy with the way you see your art, you need to change that. You need to do what makes you happy, and this is a huge thing. You need to do this, because if you end up 
hating your art and you end up hating the process, you're not going to make art. And that's just as simple as it is. You're going to make stuff for nobody for as long as you can and then you're going to stop because it'll start to feel like a job. And you want your job to be fun. If you are an artist, you want your job to be fun. And you don't want it to be a job. All right, guys, that's about all I can say on this for today. I hope any of this has helped anyone. I know this video is not going to be as popular as my last one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Bye!